My bad. I ain't no chills on right now. <laughs> I ain't even, uh, you know, chill be going on whenever, wherever. You know how he do. Hmm. Uh, no thanks. What up, BX? What up, coffee? I dropped my damn phone. Money fresh was good. It's happening, y'all. Thanks for coming through. Hit that like button when y'all drop on in here. I know, right? So today, I guess I was like an exceptional employee. And my job door dashed me lunch today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's up, Ms. Paula? I was on last week. What's going on? This is hot. I can't eat this shit. Oh, no. That's spicy. Y'all about to die. I thought. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, buddy. But it's good. So, like, y'all know I don't eat spicy food, so... I didn't really think this was going to be spicy. I guess it was supposed to be some kind of Mexican street corn. And I mean, I like Mexican street corn, but this got a little twinge to it. It's hot. What's up, Demetrius? It was good. Mm-hmm. I did. Ain't no shame in my game. Mm -mm. Nope. Baby steps over here. I never have my guts bubbling. What's up, Jays? For days, what's going on, sis? Mexican street corn from Condado. It is hot. <laughs> I think that's what this is. Like I said, um, I ordered my food, and then she was like, "Well, I got you a little something extra too, cause you know it's on the job." So. I sent you some extra stuff, and I was like, oh, okay. It's good. It's just spicy. I don't know. What up, Mello? It's good. What's good? Huh? I mean, it's good. Like, you see, I keep going back for it, right? What's happening just, OG? I keep going back for it, but, um, yeah, man, I, I, don't, I don't know. You know what? Oh, I don't know. I done left my shoes in the other room. I, listen, Mexican. It's my <laughs> it is not a street code. It is not a code name for no, it's not. It is definitely not. <laughs> Shut up. I love Mexican. Mexican is one of my favorite foods. It needs to probably not be. But you know, it is, it is what it is. Um I had to call for some assistance right quick. Um, I don't know. Like, for real. Have y'all been picking up anything? He's good. He's good. My son is doing great. He is literally my oldest is standing here. My youngest is upstairs. My boys are home. I am happy. I am happy. Like, I need you to put them like right here though can you actually bring in that other little um ladder please so i can have something to sit that on i love you where keep walking it's a little step thingy thank you what's up gq you ready for monday what's going down snipes doing anything because i ain't seen nothing yeah it's so fun having my kid be home i can't i can't VX. <laughs> VX, cut it out. What are you talking about? Mm -mm. All right. We're going to have to do a little work. Put that over there. My son looking at me like, I know you ain't got me moving stuff. Not on top of my shoe because we're going to have a problem. Uh, okay. Down. 
There you go. I'm going to and put that there. Thank you. I love you. Um, Actually, that's what I was coming in here to start talking about. Like, I see so many people saying that the quality control on the threes is like horrendous, man. Like, I don't even know what other word to use. But I'm trying to understand if people realize that there is no consistency on a cement pattern, on an elephant print pattern. There's no consistency on there. Like it's, it's, you're not going to get a uniformity in that shoe, no matter what you do with it. So I'm a little confused on what's going on. I mean, I see some people say that the, the cut is a little lighter on some pairs. It's not as, it's not as, I guess as deep a cut on the shoe. Um, okay, so you got the threes, the twelves, and the Air Max One Gray Crep. Okay, that's cool. But um, yeah, I I just I don't know. Yeah, I got my kid trying to help me prep, and he trying to get back to what he doing, and he's still leaving stuff. Um, so I was, I, I did get the I'm I'm on your twelves. I got both pairs of those, um, because as nobody really noticed that those were not, I guess, hard to get if you were smaller sizes, and um, and uh. Oh. They're, they're still, I know the black pair is still available on Nike. Yes, he are, he is piling these boxes high. You understand? Um, I know the black pair is still available on Nike. I am not sure about the white pair. Um, well, coffee, with the size you wear, your, your size is still available. Yes, I think so. I mean, I'm not sure about the white pair. You know that. Um, yeah, I hadn't heard anything yet. You a lot of confused. You a lot of confused about what? Yep, my white pair just came today too. Um, both of them. I actually hit on two pair of each. So it's it's interesting to see how this is how this is panning out. Um yeah, Paula got that heat coming in. You got L's on I'm, I'm on your 12s too. Yeah, I'm about to bring these out in a minute. Um, ten man fourteens. <laughs> uh, Coffee did say he was getting those fourteens, didn't he? He sure did. He sure did say he was getting those. I'm gonna bring them out. We're gonna do a, a a a show and tell in a little bit. Yeah, the outrage over the elephant print. I kind of just don't. I guess get it. Like I'm looking at these these prints and I'm just kind of like, I guess like these my old old pair of threes. And like I mean it's the same thing. It's a print, but it's not like the backs are gonna match exactly, you know what I'm saying? Like they're not, they're not gonna match. So I'm really trying to figure out like I am if people are if you have your pairs in, like those are that's the lateral side on these. I'm like, I don't I don't really get it. But I mean, I do see where some people's are like, see how this is deeper cut? Like they have mostly just gray and it's like a thin thin lines of black in there. I see that on some pairs and um it's literally like on one shoe and not the other. Ugh, ugh, that's nasty. But um yeah, I mean like I like I said, like if you look at the toe box of these, they're not Can y'all see that? I don't know. Okay, I'll be trying to line it up. You look at the toe box of these, it's not 100% perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I mean, who the hell standing at your feet that deep? <laughs> like, I mean, and then let's see. Here's another one. And I mean, I know these are older pairs. So, I mean, I guess it's a little bit better if I show you the older pairs too. But like, here go my true blue threes. Like, they're not, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, like the back is like a little bit more consistent, but I guess maybe that's what they're talking about. I, I don't know. So I don't know. I, I'm still like 
trying to figure out what the deal is because y'all know these these, these them trade school pairs look they ain't even got no real tab on them it's just like on there but um those are older pairs so there's that part but i guess if you oh them some boxes okay so let's see i haven't told you i just got these in i haven't even opened them yet those are the white 12s um and then the black ones black ones and here are the white cement so i mean the box is perfect 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 my box is lovely my box is lovely i love it um yeah my box came in pretty nice so i can say that much but like i said i'm not tripping on the shoe either though like um i guess people were complaining because of the way the leather was cut at the toe it's got like a little snippet there if you can i don't know if y'all can see that because of that lighting but that little nip right there there it goes see that little nip i guess people were complaining about that like man i literally don't give a shit about that what's up amy what's going on sis i'm like see okay so this is a men's pair so this is a men's size six so i guess i should make that distinction too there is a difference in the shoes and what comes with them and things like that so um and i mean to each his own i just prefer um the cut is a little different um yeah, I got a men's pair. Yep, it's a men's six. So, uh, see, men's six, no why, no whys. Um, so whenever I can get a men's pair, that's what I do get. What's up, Beastly Garage? Thank you for coming through. <laughs> yeah, my, I like, I'm, I don't get it. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my shoes and I'm like, hey, if y'all looking for perfection, then y'all in the wrong hobby. Like for real. But, um, and people are, I mean, people are legit upset about it. But like I said, like, here's the back pair of my threes. Um, I'm trying to line this up. This is hard for me. I don't, this camera thing be tripping. So there's that. So, I mean, I'm not tripping on my pairs. Like, here's the, there's the medial side of it, of both pairs. Then there's the toe, medial side. You know what I'm saying? Like. I don't, I don't, I mean, I, I expect some inconsistencies because the, the cement is not consistent. Like this little nip nip people keep talking about this on the toe box. I'm like, who cares? It's a cut. Like <laughs> it's a cut. I don't, I don't really care. And then that's like the lateral side, you know what I'm saying? The back, how it goes. The elephant, I mean, and I, I'm wondering if people are saying the thickness of the cuts you know like the laser cuts of the elephant print or cement or whatever you want to call it is that what they're saying is the difference because i mean just depending upon what happened what part of the pattern you happen to get i guess it's it's, it's crazy but like it's kind of crazy this shoe look ginormous compared to my other ones like there's a little bit more something going on with it i'm trying to look at this shoe Okay, maybe because this one is five and a half. <laughs> I'm like, why my shoe looks so different? I don't, I don't understand. But this is a grade school. Like I said, that's a grade school. And I guess there's a little more, there's actually a little bit more oomph to, sits up a little higher, I guess, if you look at it. I mean, it's very slight. And I, I noticed things like this, but like, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it may look exactly the same. Now that I'm looking at it through this camera, it look exactly the damn same. <laughs> <laughs> but um like i said that is a grade school pair so but um i don't know i'm not complaining i'm not complaining the tongue is a little thinner it seems um than 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 like this three like this one is cushiony it's like super cushiony but like you said it's a reconstruction of the original pairs so it is sup recognize what's going on but um no I, I i i legit don't see what people are com complaining about like um unless you got like a horrible pair like i i don't feel like i did i i'm an i like my pair and i'm not even a huge fan of threes so 
there's that part. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know y'all about to be tripping out. What you mean y'all don't really like threes like that? I don't. I don't. Um, so yeah, I mean, but yeah, the prints are going to be different. I mean, you're gonna have, I mean, like a fucking elephant. They 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 wrinkles ain't all the same. Shit, your wrinkles ain't all the same. So <laughs> um <laughs> I'm just saying it, it I think it's a, a much to do. I think people just need something to complain about i guess i don't know they just gotta have something you know what i'm saying um coffee talking about 14s over everything this is why we fire you on a regular basis that's why that that's exactly why that is exactly why so i don't know that's just my opinion though i feel like this whole quality control thing is kind of getting blown out of proportion um and I guess people are looking to see like where their shoe was manufactured, which plant, I guess there's a different plant. Like I got, okay. So you know what? I looked at, um, mine says LN4. So that's where I got my pair. So I don't know if that makes a difference. <laughs> Not sure. But who else got in? Oh, okay. So I didn't get, I am so upset because I thought I had more time to get the fire red threes than I did. And now I cannot find them anywhere um, in the store to purchase a size six. I'm a little upset about it. So, but I'm going to Vegas next month. So I'm going to check and see if maybe some stores still have them. Um, of course I could get them off StockX or whatever, but I don't want to. Um, I am now just, I mean, I guess now I just feel like I kind of want to search them down. So I'm going to do that. But the quality on my Fire Red 4s, the pair I got early access from sneakers. Oh, my God. Talk about doo-doo-doo-doo. But um, it was rectified. I got another pair, and they were just fine. Um, uh, so I, I just I don't, I just think people just want something com to complain about. Um, that's what I really feel. So that's just me. Right. I bet you ain't no right. You're right. Ain't nobody returning them pairs. Ain't nobody about to sit there and return them. They not that pissed. Now, if you now I want to see if anybody did return their pair. If they felt like their pair was that bad, um, that they returned their pair. That is a good question. But I don't I don't see a lot of returns. Like for real. I see so many people. Uh oh. That's doing this thing. My bad. I hope I don't get struck a strike for that. But um been down with three since 1988 and they've been inconsistent like this literally since nine. but that's it's a pattern like you can't i mean if they was you know what i'm saying the whole purpose of that pattern is to be inconsistent so even i'm looking at my black cement threes on the other side there's no consistent consistency in the actual pattern from the left to the right it, it is what it is it that you get what you get that's the whole point it's a surprise <laughs> like the shoes are different that's gonna happen so i'm to the point where i'm just kind of like people get the fuck over yourself really that's just it for me i i don't it's not that big of a fucking deal like if that's the case and you feel that strongly about it why at this point are you still even purchasing jays if you're that upset about the quality control do something about it and you be the first one to stop i mean i'm not gonna stop i'm not gonna stop they shoes so they meant to go on your feet and tear up after a while anyway so not that i have enough that you know I, I still can't even tear them up if i wanted to but um yeah man so okay with that being said the i my mind year 12s what do y'all think about those like how is it what do you think is the cause of the 12 not being as height as the other pairs were okay granted you know like everything kind of took a dive other than the threes every shoe other than the three is kind of like you could buy it under re under retail right now um i don't know about the fours i don't i don't know can you get the fours under retail i'm not sure about that i gotta stop that from playing i was looking at my um we supposed to get six inch up to six inches of fucking snow tonight. And see, that's what I'm saying. Like, 
I don't know if it's so much as the quality of the shoe when they drop the 12 as most 12s never really sell out. 12s don't sell out. They never do. Like, I just don't understand the whole gripe about the 12s. Like, it is a nice shoe. Like, don't get me, don't get it wrong. Like, these are some nice shoes. Um, Actually, one of my pairs is kind of fucked up. Like, I'm going to show you. Let's see. And the crazy part is about these, I took a pair and I was going to get rid of a pair because I, I, I honestly don't need two pairs. I put in for the raffles and I thought, um, I really thought that, you know, I wasn't going to hit at all. And for some reason, I hit on social status and I'm on my year and I thought they were the same people and I wouldn't be able to hit twice, but I did. And this is actually my good pair. Like I, I, I love twelves though, so so I'm a, I guess I'm a little partial. Um, and you know they're gonna be because of the material. You know what I mean? They're gonna not be. It's not gonna be as smooth as a leather. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, that's just it, and that's all. But if you look, see how this pattern is on here. My other pair is it's kind of smushed a little bit. Um. Ooh, wow! Three. You already got three to four inches so far. Mm -mm -mm. the 12s don't have a wide enough reach where hype is concerned they don't but it is they are a great shoe though like i don't get it you know what i'm saying like and then like the little you know special touches that they put on these you know with the emblems you got your jump man on this one and then um you know you got the a on the other shoe on the left shoe you got the a I don't know if y'all can see that, but y'all know what it look like. It's a, it's dark. Like I like a dark sneaker. Like this gonna be if you if you do it right, it's gonna be kind of hard to fuck it up. But um, you're gonna be able to wear it. Like there's some. I don't really know what's on it. Like this may be like some dye or something, but it's on the black. Like who's gonna be that fucking close to my shoe? Like what you gonna do? Lick it? It's not that deep. But um, I like this pair. I really do. Like, I like the black pair better than I do the white pair. And I think it's just because, like, 12s, you always get that leather upper for the most part. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm sorry. You always get that leather upper, you know what I'm saying, on the 12. This got the suede and the new buck on it. So I'm really feeling it. Like, that's why I really like this sneaker because it's, it's just out of the norm for a 12. I mean, I guess if you wear 12s, then you would know that. But... You don't get a lot of different materials on a 12. So when you can't, when I see something like, I love the dark colors. Like I like these royal colors, maroon and things like that. So when you get something, this, when I get a dark one like this and it comes with a dark on a dark, yeah, I like it. Um, Can you see the outsole? Oh, yep. There it is. Yep. So it's nice. I like it. Like I said, I like it. I like the dark maroon color. Um, I guess I got some glue on the shoe, but I mean, I don't care. Like, can you see it? I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm just not that picky, I guess. I, I guess I'm not looking for a perfect pair of sneakers because I feel like if my shoe is that perfect, I'm not going to fucking want to wear a perfectly perfect pair of shoes like that. Like, I'm going to wear it anyway, and it's going to get fucked up. You said, got my white on my mind yours today. Didn't inbox yet. Quality on a black pair looks premium, but the white looks look is cleaner in your opinion. But I, I think that's because it's so bright and it's vivid. You know what I'm saying? Like, the color is more vivid. And then you have that white popping off that dark, and I think you see that. Um, and I think that's why a lot of people gravitate towards that one more because of the contrast in colors. I think that's what it is more so than it's just a better pair. You know what I'm saying? I hear a lot of people say that, oh, it's just a better pair. It's just a better pair. I'm like, eh, both of them are unique in their own right. Both of them are a great pair in their own right. So, and like I said, I like both of them. I mean, I, I, I wasn't trying to get two pair each at all, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> and y'all know if you know me i am not keen on reselling i can't really stand to do it myself like to whoever people who do it I, more power to you but me i don't have the patience for the shit that's why i work my regular job and i take my ass to work and they give me a check 
Um, I have no desire to work that hard to to sell shoes. I just don't um, at all. Not at all. Not to, at all. So there's that part. Um, I'm going to show y'all this other pair. Because this the pair I'm hanging on to. Uh, I like this little. I love the fact that they come with these sleeves. Like if you if you a GS person and y'all used to getting them rank, j- janky ass boxes, then when they when you finally when you're finally able to get a box that's like all jazzed up and all fancy and shit, you get excited about shit like that. Like I do. I don't know about anybody else that's a grade school, but um, I definitely get excited about it. Um, I'm gonna show y'all real quick what I was saying about this pair though. When I got it in, um, I don't know if y'all can really see it, but you see how it looks folded? See how it looks like a little, what's the instrument? I forget, but um, see how it looks folded a little bit? Like it's not as, I don't know. I don't know if the material under it is just fat or squished or whatever the case may be, but it looks like an is an it's not an xylophone. What's that damn thing? Is that what it's called? I don't know. I can't I can't get my finger on it. But um yeah. But I mean, like I said, it's still a decent pair. It's got the new buck and the suede and all that good stuff. I just think, like I said, I just don't think people are as keen on twelves as they are other silhouettes. So that's that's just it. Um You know what? How much is a half a pound of Mexican street corn nowadays? <laughs> Listen, that's not plug talk. I I literally have Mexican street corn. It is a food. Leave me alone. Oh, my God. I can't even snack on here with y'all. Now I'm about to be in trouble with YouTube because they about to think I'm over here selling coke because y'all want to have nicknames from a Mexican street corn. Dang it. It's spicy. And then that don't make it no better than I keep saying the spice. Accordion, that's the damn thing. Not an xylophone. What the hell is that? I didn't mean to do that. Say that. You're right. It's an accordion. That's what I meant. That's what it reminds me of. So, um, as I, I, I don't know what happened to my blade. Like, it was so cute. And I, I mean, it's around here. It pops up. It disappears every now and then. And then it pops up. Um, so on to the white pair, like I said. What's up, Eric? Dre Day was Gucci. It's good. It was good. So this is the white pair. Like I said, I haven't opened them. They just came today. So I'm gonna try and open this with my oh, I can open that with my nail. You know, they put that one tape on there that got the strings in it, and I'll be scared. Like, I don't want to get like no cut or nothing because that shit hurt. I don't know if y'all ever know that. <laughs> you get on my nerves BX get out of here with that talk get out of here with that talk okay get out of here I am a mother and a, I am I, I'm, I'm not no I'm not a drug dealer alright so y'all about to see these for the first time with me so I'm gonna see cause I hear a lot of people say though that their twelves ended up having some bleeding going on. I did see where um, I don't know if y'all was on the uh, I'm on your site, but they also said um, they they too said you know that 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 color can bleed again. What up, J Jeff? What's up, my baby? What's going on? And the thing, the, the funny thing is, I think people will. Deal with inconsistencies like this pair got look like it got smashed a little bit. Somebody was mad at this one when they put it in a box. But like I think the funny funny thing is, I think people will deal with inconsistencies on this white pair more than they will the black pair. And that is a damn shame to me. That's that's colorism in its purest form. Like y'all get on my nerves. <laughs> but like this pair, like, I don't know. Like this one look a little funky to me too. Like, I don't know. But I'm looking at it. I don't see any bleeding on my pair. At all. It is a pretty shoe, though. 
Like, I wish I could have, like, it was a little brighter in here. It's not. But, um, it's a nice pair. It is kind of cute. It is kind of cute. Mm. Ow. I don't like that the hang tag is white with burgundy writing. I like the other hang tag better. I thought they were all the same color. Uh, let's see. But, yeah, this one kind of shaped a little funky. I don't, I don't know. But like I said, because people like this color pattern better than the other, I really do think people are going to complain less about the inconsistencies in it. Um, what is in here? What is that? Uh, maybe it's the cushion. It's that little push thing that's in there, the little paper that's in there. But I'm saying for 225 too, like they could have gave us some decent, some better, some actual shoe trees, I should say. I ain't going to say decent. Um, but... See, people would find a way to complain about this on here when you literally can just get it off. This is, this is a little glue stain on my on my mug guard right there. Look, you see it? It's on there. It's on there. And I just wipe that off. I'm sorry. But my shoe has no bleeding on it. So I don't know if y'all can see that, but it, it has no bleeding. Um, I guess my leather's a little wrinkly. I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know if y'all want to call that tumble leather. Or whatever, but like I said, like I always say, um, y'all horrible. But like I always say, why everybody keep trying to act like these Jordans is like some Gucci bags or something? Like this ain't no Louis Vuitton leather, this ain't no MCM leather, like this ain't even coach leather, like <laughs> I don't really get what people think they're getting for 200 bucks. $200 do not go as far as it used to. So, old people skin. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but like I said, $200 on a sneaker, that ain't that you ain't getting that, man. You I don't know what y'all think y'all getting. You like, I'll pay $200 for this, that, and the other. Y'all motherfuckers wasting y'all money on McDonald's and it tastes like doo, doo So I don't I don't get it. I'm trusting, trusting y'all wasting money on some way worse than and not complaining about the quality of it. Because if y'all still eat McDonald's, now that's what you should be pissed off about the quality of. It's that everyone flocking to Jordan effect. You know what? You 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 you're absolutely right on that part. Um, I don't know what people expect when you say, um, you know, for them to keep up with the demand and then the, de the demand changed so drastically, you know what I'm saying? Like Jordans had always been popular, but what's going on with them right now is kind of fucking ridiculous. You know what I mean? Like y'all don't even like these shoes for real. Y'all just trying to stunt, you know what I'm saying? Like Y'all just trying to be the first person to say, oh, I got them, I got them, I got these, I got those, and can't tell you shit about a 12. I run across the tracks. Yeah, I'm, I'm the girl from across the tracks. I'm actually in between two sets of tracks. Did y'all know that? I know y'all didn't know that, but I'm saying. Yep, I'm the girl across the tracks, across both sets of tracks. So don't, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. That's me. I think the only person that would know that would be J. Jeff. Anybody else? I don't know. But, okay, so I'm busting open this second box with the other white pair in it. And I wonder if I hit on both pairs because for some reason, my I'm, mom on your account is set up to ship to my mom house. And then my social status is set up to ship to my house. So I don't know. Um... I would be able to tell you if I like the sea foams, if I ever got around to opening that fucking shipping box. <laughs> I have not opened my sea foams yet. They are in the other room. Um, I hit on them. Well, I didn't hit on them, actually. I did not. Shout out to my bro, McFly, and his beautiful, beautiful wife. Um, they were able to secure my pair. So, um, and he shipped them out to me. Um, again, okay, so here we are with the left shoe. I'm looking it over right quick. I don't see no bleeding on this one, and this pair kind of look better than the other one, but um, just shape-wise, I would say shape-wise. I mean, it's still a 12, so you know, they still kind of fat, but um, the, the plushness of these, I guess, is not com comparable to the threes is what people were saying, which I'm like, 
Well, it ain't a pillow, motherfucker. Y'all ain't about to sleep on it. <laughs> I get my street corner from Southwest. <laughs> if you know, you know. And I, I did like the sea phones. And, and I, there aren't a lot of fours that I typically jump after. But, um, yeah. <laughs> so, here's the other one. But, like I said, I don't... Maybe I got lucky with the two pair I got. But there is no bleeding on this. And there's the one that says, I'm on mine. You're on the back tab. And I love that. That is it's swap. <clears throat> I will say this again. I will say this again. I was very disappointed in the one because it didn't say I'm on my year across the back like the toddler and the preschool pair. And I thought that was like the dopest detail on the entire shoe. And they just kind of, I think that one would have done so much better had they just put that one little detail on the adult pairs that they did for the great. Like, I don't get it. It's a, a super small shoe. Like, how did you manage to say, oh, let's put it on this one and not put it on that one? Like, I literally do want to buy a small size Amaman Year One just so I can have something with that detail on it. So, um, uh, you know what? I don't know about tamales. Like, I don't really know how that works with a tamale. Like, what's the deal with them things? Like, do you eat the, you don't eat the husk though, right? You eat what's in it. Is that how that works? Like, I've never had one before, so I don't even know. <laughs> Y'all never heard of Mexican street corn? I don't, I don't, like, that's crazy to me. I'm like, I don't know if it's because where I'm at, where I live, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a, you know, like a thing here or whatever, but, you know, because we are so, we have like a whole um, Latin American community where we live. Um, they like have their own little district. I don't know. I guess like people have Chinatown. We have Southwest Detroit and Southwest Detroit is majority I'm not going to say solely, but it's majority Mexican. They literally call it Mexican town. That's what they call it. That's what they call it. So, so that's the second pair. So I'm satisfied with my white pairs. I think they're dope. Hey, hi, or so what's going on? What you doing over there, Chris? Um, I was just going over some of my pairs. I got, um, it is not BX. Cut it out. It is not. I am literally sitting here eating corn and cheese. With It's got like tomatoes in it. So I've never seen it like this before. Normally, I get it and it's literally a ear of corn on the cob. And it's slathered in like mayo and cheese. And then they put the tahini on it. It is so good. And it's, you know, it's literally roasted on an open fire. Mhm. Mm this shit hot, but I gotta keep eating it because y'all keep saying it's cold for something else. So I'm figuring if I eat the Mexican street corn live on air, YouTube won't flag me, thinking I'm some kind of drug dealer. Y'all rude. You rude. You rude. You rude. Now, we done went over the, the threes, and for the conclusion about that, people on some bullshit about the quality of the threes. Not everybody, but some people. Um, You still ticked about the EA this morning. What early access went out today? Was that the fours, or was that yesterday? Like, the sea foams and the crafts dropped. You in Texas and you ain't never heard that. That's because you in Northern Texas. And I don't care if you are in Southern Texas. I said you in Northern Texas. Whatever. I mean, maybe they call it something else. But it's actually a thing. Y'all get on my nerves. And Dre, don't make it no better. No, you not making it no better. Um... Here it go. Y'all get on my damn nerves. And because y'all get on my nerves. I 
Not there it go. That's the name. That's what it is. I don't fucking know how to say it because I don't speak Spanish, but I don't know. That's what it's called. That's it. <laughs> you don't want to be here with the indictments? Come see. This is what I'm talking about. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Don't do nothing wrong around GQ because he's snitching. Dang. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I didn't hit on the sea phones and I didn't try for the crafts because I didn't want them. Um, it was kind of crazy though, because if you sat and waited for a minute, they ended up migrating from the sneakers app to Nike.com. So um that was kind of crazy in itself. But like I said, sneakers aren't doing numbers like they used to do no more. And it's not a matter of oh, they produce more of these than they did this. No, nah, that ain't it. People got to pay back them PPP loans. People ain't getting it back as much in taxes as they thought they was going to get. And, and inflation is a muff. You understand? Inflation didn't hit some people in the pockets. In, and they can't do like they was doing last year or two years ago. Like, and and, and and I can tell. I can definitely tell. Um, Some of the resale shops. Like, it's funny because I went to take my black 12s and I was going to get rid of a pair. And y'all know he wouldn't take my shoes? Nope. They are not in demand like that at all. So if y'all know somebody who hit on the size seven and a half in women on Nike, let me get that receipt so I can get my money back if you want to keep your beer. <laughs> listen, listen, I will figure it out, damn it. I will figure it out. So, um, yep, they did have EA today um, on finish line. I missed my uh, my email on that, but I really wasn't looking for it yeah just it's not it's it, i mean that's a whole nother topic <laughs> but but like i said some people things are like now listen now this whole price on these damn eggs though uh, I, I guess i ain't gonna be eating eggs because fuck that i'm used to getting eggs for free so you talking about six dollars for six eight, for twelve eggs? Who the hell? All right, so I need to know if anybody else feel like the release of the Dornbecker collection was like hush hush. Like I don't know if it was hush hush or if people just weren't feeling it as much as they normally feel, like the DBs, or if people just sleep on that whole uh, collaboration now together, like. Listen, yes, I can. If you have a size seven and a half, a women's seven and a half, I'm sure I can. Like, how would they know the difference? Like, seriously, how would they know the difference? Um, the only thing would be, you know, it's going to show as a return on that receipt. So if you plan on keeping a pair and then you should keep it. But uh, I mean, if you plan on getting rid of it, then yeah, but just buy it's cheaper. OK, just get like my neighbor. He got chickens. My neighbor got chickens. I don't I don't really know why he got chickens in the city. But he got chickens. The neighbor across the street, then the other neighbor that's like directly across the street, they had a goat. They had a goat. Um, they are actually Mexican, though. The ones that are directly across the street. So I've I've never seen a goat. And I think they ate the goat because the goat is gone. Like, it was a big one. It had, like, horns and, and shit. So I, I don't know. Oh, you got a size eight. Uh, see, this is what happened with my feet. With my feet. But, like, you know, you can't return them to I, my mind, year or anything like that. Um, like I said, I hate reselling. So, like, I don't want to do anything on StockX platform or Goat or anything like that. Um, I don't know. Maybe what I'll do is host a raffle for, like, so many slots for 15 bucks. Like, how can you really lose out on that? You know what I'm saying? to go that route but um yeah i don't know they won't know the difference between the sizes though because that then the receipt the size the wow ah, the, isn't the size on the receipt though hey sir charles what's going on i could do a giveaway 
Shit, I'm trying to get my money back. You talking about I can do a giveaway? All if I do a giveaway, all they gonna do is sell the shoe. Hey, window, what's going on? <laughs> Shut up. My neighbors are amazing people. <laughs> Like, give them away to your wife. Ain't that... Wait a minute. <laughs> you got a specific person you want me to give them to. Your wife wears seven and a half. Now, is the white pair still available? Hmm. Because... They didn't drop on sneakers. Is the white pair even dropping on sneakers out? Hmm. Trying to see. When their releases, they don't have anything on social status. Let's see if I put in Jordan 12. Search results. They got the stealth. They got the playoffs in the toddler. And we got the stealths in the toddler. They got those emoji GS joints. The women's hyper royal. They do not have. Hmm. That is very interesting. Social status doesn't have either pair of twills on their site. I wonder if they get so long to sell the shoe and then it has to go back to Nike. Like, is that how that works? What about I, my, my, year? I think it's probably the same thing, right? Let's see. Oh, I didn't want to do that. There's the site. So let's see. See, look, you about to have all messed up talking about she a six. Never mind. She a six men or a six women? She ain't got no feet if she a six women. Tiny, tiny little feet. Okay, so I see preschool and toddler in the black pair. I don't see anything in a white pair on I'm on my year site or social status site. Do y'all think do y'all think that mean the white pair sold out? What's up with the sneakers? What's going on? Did you see those low dunks? No answer. Where am where I going? I'm, I'm sorry. I was looking down. So I'm trying to see what I missed. Um, well, I'm gonna let you know right now. My snack for tonight, I'm I'm not a hundred percent in love with it. Like it's not nasty or anything like that. I it's just spicy, so you know, I'm not really digging it. You want to know what one of my favorite snacks is? Avocados. I love avocados. I buy them by the bag from Sam's Club, and apparently now my child loves them, so now I gotta share my avocados. I'll be pissed, I'll be upset. But avocados are one of my favorite snacks. Um, let me see. What else? I like avocados. Um, um, crab salad is great. I love that. Um, I'm not big on sweets. So, I'm definitely not a huge sweet eater. Mmm. See, it says, um, I gotta figure out which one of them kids can bring me those seed foams. I need to look at them, but I already I already know they've been good. Mm. Mm. We're the same size then. If she is six in men, she is seven and a half in women. She goes up a six and a half a size in her GS. I don't. My uh, even my GS, like I guess, because I go backwards too. So, like, I have some six and a halves, but I they're too big for me. Um, 
and I can even I can wear a five and a half. So, but six is like that's my perfect shoe. I don't have very many six and a halves. Like I'm just kind of looking. Around. I don't have very many five and a halves, but I know I got some. I know that's a five and a half. That's a five and a half. Um, I got a pair of Air Max that's a five and a half. Air Max ninety, but like the Air Max ninety, that was a mistake. That hurt a little bit when I walked too long in them. But I only have one. None of my ones are five and a half, but it was like a, a three here, a three there. Look like it's a four. Maybe is that a four? I don't know. I don't know. It's very few of them. There's very few of them. There are very few. But I do have them. Um, but I was saying, like, did anybody um oh my god, oh my god. Why BX? I didn't even think about it. I didn't even think about the fact that I was you know, avocados are from Mexico. Shut up. <laughs> you get on my nerves. Okay, you get on my nerves. But um, what I what was I saying? I was talking about the DB release. So, like, when it comes to the DBs, like, are people like not Fill in the collection anymore? Like, what's the deal? Like, are people not really with it? Or was it just that it wasn't as publicized as some other releases? So people didn't really know it was happening? Or is it that there are so many newer people in coming into the community that they don't even realize what a DB is? Like, what's going on, Polo? Hey, that like that's what I'm really trying to figure out because I, I I couldn't believe that the two pair, like, again, I can't even believe the things that I put in. I hit on every single freaking thing. But um, with the DBs, man, I just feel like people didn't even see it coming. And then it, it, it was here and then it was gone. Yeah. So I know DTLR, I know Snipes, and I know Sneakers, right? Well, I know Snipes only had three locations. Yeah, I, I don't know. I like banana bread. I don't know, but I like bananas. So I like bananas in my vanilla ice cream. So that's like my thing. So if I do eat ice cream, it's got to have something in it. Ye you said the Yeezys? Are they really that comfortable? I don't know. There they go. Up there. Y'all see that one pair of Yeezys in that box right there? Um, Yeah, they've never been worn. I don't, I, I was in a drought and I think like I was going through a thing where nothing was dropping that I wanted or that I liked and it seemed like there was nothing and I shut up with the sneakers <laughs> and I got a discount on them and I was like, why not? So I bought them and then I put them right there and that's where they stayed because they're ugly as shit. So... <laughs> I don't care. They're ugly as hell. So it is what it is. That's my opinion, and I'm entitled to it. What's up, Hopper Dog? What's going on, my brother? But um, yeah, I I I, I like I said, I did hit on some DBs. I hit on two pair. Um hmm. Oh, that's why. Okay, I was confused for a minute looking at this shoe. Um uh yeah, don't whatever. <laughs> so this is the 90 the 90. Y'all know I love me a 90. Like I said, it's a little weird because I'm not sure what the Rocky Mountain leather on it. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it because it's it's crinkly. Like <laughs> like Jay just said, uh you overslept that drop. Um, I didn't. I struck out on a uh, sneakers app. Mm, I tried for the ones. They they didn't have the ones, the DB ones at uh Snipes. The crazy part is, like I was telling Snipes, power was out. We had a, a damn ice storm. The power was out. So I couldn't actually pick my shoe up until Monday. 
and they they came out for that Saturday and I couldn't pick them up till Monday because that's when they opened. But then it was like our credit card machine was down. You could bring cash. And I felt like that was a setup because if you knew where I was at, then it was in, I was in trouble. So I was like, no, nah, I ain't coming up in here with cash. No, nah, <laughs> I got my card. I got my card. And they was like, well, you got till tomorrow. We'll call you. We'll call you. And then E-Money was like, shit, I don't know. That don't sound right. Like they're going to call you. They're going to sell your shoe out the back door. I was like, they better not. They better not. They know what's good for them. They better not. But um, no, it was still there. I went back Tuesday. They did actually end up calling me and say, hey, our machine is back up working. Like, I really appreciated that. Like, shout out to Snipes for having um, honest workers and, and legit wanted people to come in and get their pairs. But um, I thought this was a dope pair with the little pr paisley print all on the in inside there, on the insole. Um, got a little translucent shit going on on the outsole. Um, listen, man, we didn't have an ice storm two weeks ago um we just had a snowstorm. storm all the snow and fucking melted and tomorrow we're supposed to get four to six inches i'm like bro come on come on but um y'all know i love my nikes i mean my uh air max 90s but this is a very very clean pair like i love blue uh and this this pop of red makes it really really dope um so i am i am loving them i'm loving them like very much so loving them I mean, you know, I ain't no, I ain't no polo or nothing, but you know, see, when I look at this, I don't even know how the hell do they get them toe tips so smooth anyway, like, this one is super rounded off, like, I, like, I don't know, y'all be crying about bullshit, but I ain't gonna say y'all, not y'all, but people be crying about bullshit, like, like, again, see, here's that little willow's peak right there on the tip of the shoe who the fuck care like for real why y'all give a fuck about that who cares i need somebody to tell me what the big deal is about it like what why who it's a shoe like you can't even you can't see it unless you point it out who in the fuck gives a fuck for real i don't give a that frog fuck about that little peak on there it's ridiculous it's insane yeah it's it's life it's it's michigan it is what it is polo air maxes okay what about polo got some dope ass air maxes man like like the toy story pair i love that pair it is so dope. They're so beautiful. Yep, people complaining about the Eddie Monster on their shoe. I don't, I don't. <laughs> the Eddie Monster, like I don't get it. Like I, I just think people just need something to complain about. Like I think people have a need to be heard. I guess, like i don't know like i just made a reel on instagram and i just kind of went with it and i go you know like i'm not tripping on my pair of threes like i'm cool with my pair of threes like i'm not a huge fan of threes but i'm cool with my pair but y'all just need they just need something to fucking complain about all the time and so now when it get down to the point and nike ain't giving y'all shit but monarchs then you got your lip poked out I remember back in the day when they used to make Jays and Air Max 90s. Now all they doing is making Monarchs for comfort and old people. Don't complain when they start taking y'all shit away because then it's going to be a problem. Then it's going to be a problem. Then it's going to be a problem. So when Jays end up being a thing of the past, people going to have their lip out poked out. Don't poke your lip out now, shit. That's it and that's all. Shit. That's it, and that's all. Um, what the sneakers? What the hell is you talking about? Ain't no horrible quality control on the I my my year twelves. I literally just showed them shoes. My ain't shit wrong with my shoes. Nothing. Ain't no bleeding on neither one of the white pairs I got, and ain't nothing wrong with my black pairs. It's like a little bit of glue on the side and the, if that's what you complaining about you need to get a god dang on life because that shit is ridiculous it is not that fucking deep at all it's not that deep you can't even fucking see the glue stain when it's on your shoe so what the fuck is happening 
If somebody could see the glue stain on your shoe, that means your whole outfit is completely fucked up and you need to go back home and change because if they staring at your shoes that hard to be able to see some shit like that, no, that means the rest of you fucked up. That's all I can say. Like, that's it. I don't care. Yes, people gonna complain. People are ungrateful. It is what it is. That's all the fuck it is. Ungrateful little fuckers. That's it. And that's all. Um, hold on, because I'm turning this camera off. Cause if I lean over and I fall, I don't want y'all to see it. So oh. look. And that almost did happen. I'm <laughs> so glad I turned that camera off. Cause I almost bust my ass. But I'm just saying that's I mean that's true. There's Miss Miller in there. That is a girl, right? Yeah, that's a girl. Yeah. She's cute now, but she got some ears on her, baby. Woo. Let's see. So I got shoes. I still ain't cleaned up from damn Monday mid so. Buckeye, Kev, Marcus, y'all need to come over and clean this shit up. <laughs> it's shit every fucking where. My son came in here was like, why are these shoes all over the place? I'm like, because I be doing stuff for my friends and I be sharing. Hey, Snicker King 10, what's going on? That's all people been doing is complaining. I don't get it, but shit, you... The fact that you can spend them, don't spend the fucking money then, cry baby. So here are my DB phones. And I'm not even a huge phone person. So there's that part. Like, I don't really know how the fuck to tell if. I mean, how do you know if the, I don't I don't know if it's real carbon fiber? Like it's it's loud. It don't sound like the phone posit part. I don't fucking know. I ain't even gonna hold y'all up. I don't motherfucking know. All I know is these fuckers stink. You stinky. They kind of remind me of the Travis Scott 6. That bad boy stunk so bad. The sound? Yeah. I mean, like, do that mean it's... I don't know. I hear they don't put car real carbon fiber on the on the what shoe is that? On the 11s no more. Is that what it's on? It's on my 11 here. So I don't know. Trying to see. Y'all know I can't see where shit. So I had to make the funny face. Then I see. It. Then I didn't know and when I got this shoe, when I put it in for this shoe, um, the phone got a different glue they use. They use the same glue that they put on them Travis Scott 6s. The pink pair. The khaki pair. That's what it is. It's khaki. Do I have a GS pair of the 11th? I got some GS pairs of 11th. Yeah. So maybe that's what it is. I got some adult pairs too. Like, of course, all the women pairs are adult pairs, but that. But then, like, the cool gray 11th, that's an adult pair. But that's pretty much it. All the rest of my pairs are, are grade school because a lot of them didn't end up coming in me in small sizes. So I have to opt for the GS. Oh, the phones? These phones? Uh, These only came in men. So, yeah. These only really came in men. There better be a motherfucker men pair for that 200-something price tag. That's what I do know. Yes, I do have four pair of foams in one, two, three, four. Four pair of foams in GS. Yes, then there's a women pair. And then there's this pair. I don't have a lot of foams. So I know y'all ain't seen me in in, in foams. Um, if you have, then you have been following my Instagram for a very, 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 very long time. Because it is deep, deep in the in the in the in the pictures somewhere down there in a few years ago. 
where I was wearing them. But um, I think that's only like my sixth pair of phones. Like I said, I don't have a lot. Um, but yeah. I mean, they decent. They just not the sexiest shoe. Like, I don't, I don't know. If you want to have an ugly foot, I guess throw on some phones. Ain't no rich gang. Ain't no rich gang. I just happen to... Listen, let me tell y'all something. I hit on sneakers when I'm the brokest. I hit on everything when I ain't got no money. But when I got money, they be like, nah, biatch. Nope, not today. They be like, go ahead and get a resale. I be like, no. Nope. No, no, no. But yeah, man. I was just wondering. I, I didn't know if it was because they were so... Like, I, I'm interested to know what the numbers were on these. Like, that's really, like, what I wanted to know. Like, how many pairs of phones were produced? Like, how many pairs of each silhouette of the Dornbecker collection was released? Like, that's... Does anybody know? Like, I know um, Skinner on Instagram posts a lot of those, uh, that information on his, his page like how many in each size even of each silhouette um let's see what is i'm looking to see if a skinner 32. so let's see if i see anything on her that's there's a lot of shoes that didn't drop but it don't look like he have anything any information on the DBs from what I see. Awesome. Not that I see, so I don't know. I just thought it was worth a look to see if maybe he has something on there, but I don't see it. I don't know. But I would be interested in knowing how many pairs they had. If anybody knows, hit me up. Shoot me a DM. Let me know if you know. Cause I really do want to know. I'm just I'm because I you know what I might go. Well, not tomorrow. It definitely ain't gonna be tomorrow. I ain't driving in that shit tomorrow. But Saturday, you know what? I'm gonna go Saturday back up to Snipes and I'm gonna see if those shoes still sitting there. I'm gonna see if they still there. I know they had the Harachis and and all that good good shit. So, but I need to check and see if they still got them because they were just sitting out there. Even when I went up there on Tuesday, they were just sitting out on a display. Um, and I think I want to grab the hoodies to match this nine these nineties though, because that was fire. That hoodie was fire, fire. It was very dope. Anyway, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's my little thing. I I still like I said I don't understand why people are so pissed about these threes. I really don't understand it. I don't understand it. Hey, Harry Nelson, what's going on? But um, yeah, I I really don't understand it. I don't understand the gripe. Like people say, oh, we need we need a um we need a retro of this and retro of that. And I'm telling y'all right now, everything about to be this whole remastered type of deal. Y'all ain't never about to get another retro that's gonna be a for real retro. It's always gonna be tweaked some kind of way. So if y'all keep saying, oh, I want I want the true blue threes, them bitches ain't gonna look like this. They're going to be remastered, and then, I mean, I'm going to steal bad because I don't like this heel tab on my GS pair. It's not really a heel tab. It's not at all. It don't lift up. It don't, it don't do nothing. It don't, it don't do nothing. You'll probably be gone. They'll probably be gone. What's, what'll be gone? I don't know. You know, I forget as soon as I say some shit, so. <laughs> I'd be like, what I say? I said, what I said? Uh, I'm going to have to go back and do the replay because I don't fucking remember saying that. And then I'd be like, oh, I guess I did say that. No. But yeah, I don't think anything is going to come back out outside of that remastered type of deal um, anymore. That's just it and that's all. You're going to always have that used look on it. Oh, the DBs. <laughs> they might be. You're right. I remember now. <laughs> I remember now. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, it, it, it is what it fucking is. Like, you should already know 
in your head whenever a sneaker release you go it's not gonna be what you thought it's not gonna be a perfect pair it's just not gonna happen it's not gonna happen and if that's what you expecting then you keep setting yourself up for failure every fucking release like okay if your shoe come and i see some people you can see the bro the, br the brush strokes on their sneakers or whatever um yeah i just showed the db uh 90s over here somewhere uh one pair over there on the floor i ain't getting up out this chair i mean one shoe on the floor but um here it oh if i can get it out the paper here you go you can see that bear down kind of dope it's very dope i like this little design on it Let's see exactly exactly hop y'all still gonna buy the motherfucking shoe so what you complaining about what you complaining about like damn just shut up and buy the shoe you go give them your money anyway so why you crying bro why y'all crying when you gonna give up your dollars anyway and like uh who said that was it i don't remember who said it i, I forget that but um he just said oh it was beastly garage Ain't nobody about to return them. <laughs> Y'all ain't about to return them. So, take your Willow Peak pair. Take your thinly lasered pair. Take your crooked heel tab pair. Put them on your feet proudly and walk the fuck around wherever you gonna go. It is what it is. And wear them proudly. That's all I say. Whatever imperfections you have in your shoe. They're your shoe. It makes them uniquely you. You're not perfect, so why should your fucking shoes be? Um. Anyway, <laughs> see, look, Hopna got me all the way back on my damn soapbox and talking shit. It, that's on the shoe. It's like it's just the cut of the shoe. Like, I don't, I want to know who the hell first. Just who paid that some attention? Like what? Who the fuck care? It's not like it's a cut and like your leather just cut too and then it's sold back together. And some shoes like that. But um I don't know. Like, it's, are you trying to say that's not attention to detail? Because I'm trying to figure out who the fuck paying that much attention to detail to a few a hundred thousand pairs. Like, nope. Once a year, the Dorenbeckers come out. And that's what I was just saying. I, for me, they seem like they were easy to get. And I don't know if it's just that nobody was really up on them. But like they said, they said some people people took L's on the, on the Dorenbecker collection. They they actually did. I mean, I took an L on the ones, the Jordan ones that came out. But like I said, I was able to get the Dorenbeckers in the 90s. But I took, a, I took an L at that. You say you look at smiles and yums. Is, is that supposed to say yams? What you talking about? I, I what price point? Like I said, ain't nobody. This ain't this ain't Gucci. What are you talking about? Yeah, but you know what? That changed. It's like they flipped that too. That's what I was saying. They changed the time of the year that the Dornbeckers came out. So I wonder if that is playing a part in people not purchasing them because they are looking for them to drop around november and then these fuckers dropped in february like what's happening now you ain't getting perfection the 200 dollars don't get you perfection 200 dollars get you what we getting that's what it gets you like i said that's what it's gonna get you if you want perfection then you got to understand that you got to pay for it people ain't willing to pay for it if you want them to bring Nike back to the United States, you want it to be a made in the U.S. type of sneaker, then that $200 is about to go all the way to hell up. It's about to be ridiculous. So it, it, it is what it is. Take what you get. Because my whole point is, shit, we paying for a lot of other things, and it's not, they not perfect. You paying for a lot of other bullshit. Like I just related it to the bullshit-ass McDonald's people keep buying. Y'all don't even know if that's me. It don't know. Nope. So how you love that? How you think about that? 
Oh, oh, look at you. Go, Amy, girl. She like, they always send me the invite. Send me the online invite for their uh, November charity event. So do they release them to the public again in, in November? Or is it just they doing a charity event and there's that? But I don't know. You know, Apollo, you know I'm about to get on my, on my horse about this. Like, I really just feel like people just be bitching about these shoes. So, but I'm, like I said, I ain't tripping on it. It is what it is. I'm going to wear my pair proudly. And it's going to be it's going to be somebody out there who's going to take a L and they're going to be they're going to be like, oh, I ain't get my pair. I ain't get my pair. There's some people out there that, that's not getting pairs that wish they had pairs. And there's some people out here who complain about their pairs. They got pairs. They need to stop complaining about this shit. The meat be good, though. At McDonald's? Blech. Blech. Gross. Oh, really? So the Dornbecker collection doesn't release, it doesn't release overseas? Oh, okay, 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 okay. But I remember getting my pair, I remember them releasing... A, well, what year was that? I forget what year it was. And they released in November. Mm, I don't know. I know it wasn't these because I bought these a long time ago off StockX. It wasn't these. What? Oh, it was the 12s. It was the 12s. That's what it was. It was the 12s. The black and pink 12s. That's the ones. And I got those. Those actually dropped in November. I remember that distinctly. I mean, they can have their opinion. Their opinion is fucking stupid, but they can have their opinion. <laughs> See, I had an opinion on somebody else's opinion. Did it? Did it? But they're entitled to it. <laughs> okay. All right. That's what it is. I got you. I got you. Thanks, Amy. You know so much. I be learning shit. I be telling you. That's why I come on here because I do like for people to like have an opinion so I can learn shit too. I don't know everything. Y'all be knowing a lot of stuff. Like I never knew that there was like a whole auction and all that going on and they invite people out. I really never knew that. Yeah, COVID changed everything. I mean like everything. So shit's still not back to normal. I don't think it's ever going to go back to normal, but you know, I done did some shit. I don't know what I did. Oh, I ain't know you could put your DM on vanishing mode. That's why people be in these DMs cheating and saying whatever the hell they want to say. It's a vanishing mode. I just did it by accident. I was like, woo, what I'm doing? Oh. Uh. Wow, that's crazy. Because y'all get some stuff that we don't get over here. Like, it, like I don't understand, especially for the Air Max. Like, the UK and Air Max, like, it is ridiculous. Like, I got, like, one of my favorite pairs of 90s is the Pirate Radio. Like, that shoe was so out cold. Like, the whole, everything behind it, the story and all that good stuff. Like, that, that's a that's an out cold ass shoe. Um. I just showed that shoe on a Monday mid, so on Monday. They were allowing us to come up and showcase some of our favorite Air Max. But I don't see it. It's probably under that pile. You know what else I noticed they don't do? I haven't seen them do the city pack. Like, you know, when they had the Tokyo and the Shanghai and all that. I haven't seen that. Has anybody seen any of that? Like, I think it was a New York... Um, I haven't seen any of those. Hmm. How did I think about it? That's interesting. I think the last time I saw that was when I got the Tokyo 90s. That's interesting too. All that, all those those little deals they used to do like that. I don't say deals, but all those um, collaborations or or not even collaborations. What do I want to say? Collections. 
I, I, you know, I'm always down. I got a bunch of shoes I can show. I can put those, what was it, like 20 pairs <laughs> to the side and pick another one over here and go for it. I mean, and you know, like I said, it ain't always got to be the 90s I got over here. I got some other Air Max going on over here. Some more up tempos. And them bad boys is old. Like, this ain't the new wave of up tempos where they releasing 5 million colors. My pennies, some more pennies over there. I got a few LeBrons. Maybe next time I come on, I'll show a few of these. And then I'll show my other uh other other styles of, of Air Max. You got the last city pack. Okay, with the Paris 90s. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. What happened to all that? Like, they don't do all that no more. Like, the whole Black History Month, that's gone. You know, they don't have none of that no more. Like, it, it's very, it's like the collaborations with the boutiques kind of took over, completely took over those whole collections. And I love those collections. I was super fan of them, super fan of them. But, um, yeah, man. You got the Shanghai ones? I got the Tokyo joints. Those are the ones I got. I don't know why I didn't complete the collection. I wonder at this point, they're probably not even, you know, people aren't as head over heels for Air Max 90s like they were for the 30th anniversary year. I think that year there was a lot of commotion about them. And then all of a sudden it just kind of died off. Um, and like now you're back to being able to get Air Max under retail. I mean, certain ones, you can get them under retail. And it, it's, they're just, people went back to sleep on them. I, like 87 bucks, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm seeing like under $100 range for Air Max 90s. It's it's crazy to think that some of these pairs was going for three, $400. And Oh, yeah. I ain't saying they've been, I haven't said that, you know, like the designs of the Black History Month sneakers were the best, but what I'm saying is they don't have them. Um, like even the bacons, like what the hell is that all about? Like, that's the craziest shit ever. You ask for something for years and years and years. And I'm like, I need y'all if Nike ever, 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 ever re-release the Warhawks, I need y'all to sleep on them. Like, 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 all the way sleep because I'm gonna need about 10 pair of them. <laughs> like, I'm gonna need like 10 pair of those. I'm gonna need 10 pair. That's a very dope shoe. I don't know. It's crazy because even like the undefeated pack, like, I ain't seen those come out. Um, and those, I'm looking at this yellow pair, it's $78. <laughs> like, what is going on, man? What is really going on? I mean, I'm not complaining because it works for me if I wanted to complete some packs, but especially in a 90 color in the 90 silhouette, it's looking like it's looking real like, yeah, Michelle, let's let's go back this way. Oh, that was that NRG picnic joints. Them jokers was sweet, but they was a golf shoe, so I was like, eh. but I struck out anyway. I don't know. I wish Nike would re-release the cork, too. Those are dope. Yep. Yes, sir, Polo. Oh, my God. Don't you know? Man. Like I said, if that shoe was to ever come out, like y'all know, I don't really double up, not on purpose. But if that shoe was to come up, that would be purposeful, double up, triple up, quadruple up. Man, listen, I'll be buying up all the pairs. And listen, once I can't find a six, I buy some more sizes <laughs> just to have them. Yeah, the pricing on on nineties are great, and I mean they're a comfortable shoe too. So I just don't understand. I don't know. I'm still pissed I couldn't have that supernova pair. I was really pissy about that. How the hell y'all have everything else coming to six, but not that pair? Oh. Like part of me wants to buy that shoe in a seven. Did it come in a seven? Was it seven and a half? I think seven and a half. Part of me wants to buy that. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Buy it in a seven and a half. 
and just to have it just to have it it's still like 200 something dollars for that pair though sometimes yeah i got a couple pairs that i bought that i can't fit i mean i did end up wearing it it was way too big i wore them to the game but it is what it is I'm trying to see the Olympics. Those like $145. The Michigan ones. Like there are some that are still kind of a little pricey up there or whatever. But for the most part, if you look at your shoes, shit, you just buy them over here. There's no reason. Look like there's no reason for people to sell knockoffs in the 90s because the, the, the actual legit pairs ain't going for nothing. So, damn. I'm looking at a pair of shoes now that's on here for $98. <sighs> My size is going. It's a women's pair, I think. So if it's a women's pair, then it's going for $144. Bucks. I think I spent $150 on them shoes. That's the other thing. 90s over ones for you. Me too. I'm 90s over ones. I'm not a huge fan of ones. Uh, the colorway has to strike me like something crazy. For me to pick a pair. But like I said, y'all already know my favorite pair of Air Max ones are the Susans. Favorite, 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 favorite. But I love my 90s. You can't tell me nothing. Nope. I love a 90. They're so, you could just do so much with them. And I, I just still don't understand how they come up with so many damn colorways in these 90s. Like, it'd be like, who think of this shit? It's St. Patty's Day next Friday. I got to figure out which pair. I'm probably going to wear my 90s over my Sockanies. Are they coming out with any St. Patty's Day sneakers y'all have seen? Because I haven't seen that either. Where the holiday kicks, man? Damn, I feel like I sound like... uh. What's the man name from Friday? Hmm. It ain't Chris Rock. I mean, he been in the damn news too much. Yep, definitely way more options in the color blocking for that. It's definitely for the 90s. Yeah, no, I'm not a fan of the 95. Smokey. Yeah, but what's his name? His real name? What is that man's real name? I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. Ice Cube. And what is that man's name? Chris? Is he a Chris too? Tucker. That's right. He a Chris too. Damn, I forgot all about his last name. Shit, I'm like, is it Chris Rock? Is it Chris Brown? Damn, what the fuck is that man's name? Chris Tucker. He ain't been around lately, so I'm entitled to forget about him. I'm able to, I'm capable of that. It's going to happen. It is what it is. But man, damn, I didn't realize it was so late. It's 10 30. I've been on here for an hour and a half chatting it up. Um, I guess we're gonna come back next week and we're gonna do this again. I'm about to get back in my groove. Hey, y'all been watching Who Has the Heat? Did y'all see the last uh the last episode? The what it was actually the first, the first, first battle of season nine. That shit was dope. Like it was some fire in that season. Like, if y'all know, y'all know. There was some fire in that season. I'm trying to tell y'all. Like, y'all need to go check it out. If you didn't see it, then you need to go check it out. Because it is the shit. I love that show. I love being on the show. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. Oh, uh, no. It, it's 3.32 in the morning. Where you, I'm going to need you to go to bed. You better be at work or something. Why are you up at 3.32 in the morning? Thank you, thank you. It was a dope battle. Like I'm, I'm really proud of it. Like, and it's funny because those two could talk. <laughs> they could talk. So I, I thoroughly enjoyed the shit talking back and forth. That was cool. But um, yeah, man, we'll be on this Saturday. Um, it looks like these first rounds are going to be extended a little bit. You know how we normally like to double up the battles. Um, we'll have those. Oh shit, excuse me. We'll have those, but um yeah, man. I, I don't know. It's gonna be a little bit lengthy for that first round of battles. It is, but um, hopefully we can 
once we start eliminating some folks and getting them out of there, that second round will be able to do the double ups and then, you know, it'll shorten it up. But um, it'll be longer nights for that Saturday night. But at the same time, it'll be a shorter season so we can get back to doing some other things and doing some other um, other battles in between you know, season nine and season 10. Cause I really do like those. Like, you know, when we do the off, off battles or whatever, those are kind of dope. Um, I really do enjoy those, but like I was saying, man, I ain't gonna hold y'all up. I appreciate y'all for coming through, um, checking out the channel. If y'all can share it, um, get your friends to come over, um, kick it with us on YouTube. I am going to try for 2023. I am going to try to grow this channel and get back into it. Um, I tend to, uh, baby my Instagram a lot more than I do my YouTube and I want to get back into showing my YouTube some love so um hey friends tell a friend to tell a friend come back she back she over here she on YouTube she doing it live uh polo get with me though because I do I you know I love being on your show like that's where I got my start I absolutely positively love it so um that is where um, I was first welcomed into the fold. So love it, love it, love it. I'm, I got you, BX. I got you. I'm going to send it to you. <laughs> y'all have a wonderful, wonderful night. Be safe. Be blessed. Thank y'all. <laughs>